Well, I've now failed one of the club's long-term visions, which isn't great. As you can guess, Fulham managed to get one over us at Craven Cottage, so now we've got the North London derby. The fun just doesn't stop, does it? Hello everybody and welcome back to In The Dugout FM. This is Millers and you are about to watch us play in an incredibly important North London derby. <sighs> Before we get into how we're going to line up, let's just have a very, very quick look at since you were last with us against Hull, where we got absolutely tated at home. We managed to go to the London Stadium and get a win. It's now called Bobby Moore Park, by the way. And, and to be fair, you know... <sighs> They scored right on the stroke of half time. They came in, they got told off in no uncertain terms, and then went out there and absolutely pummeled West Ham in the second half um, to a point of non existence. And we, we deserve to take the three points away from there. Fantastic, fantastic performance. We went to Craven Cottage, again went one down, one down. managed to pull it back to the point where we were in the lead. Sergio Montel getting both goals, managing to get himself a brace. Then they equalised, and then they got a penalty, which was absolutely not a penalty, in the 97th minute, um, and scored to take the tie. So, And that's what's meant that I am now in the bad books with the club. Um, where do I see that? Where do I see that? Targets, maybe? No. Uh, my contract? No. Probably should have... Looked at this bit for I brought you in. Club vision. There you go. There you go. Look, failed. So, not great. Not great. Disappointed. Absolutely disappointed. And I'm disappointed in Furness. We went first team. We did change shape. Um, so, essentially, Coyote was out with an injury. And we don't have another an attacking fullback. Uh, I could have gone with how I'm going to go today. I didn't. I went quite aggressive. I went with three at the back with a libero to try and actually encourage us to play a little bit and put three across the middle of the park. We got exploited, um, and that's my bad. So it's 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 down to me, ultimately. But the win against West Ham has meant that we still are in a reasonable place. We're not as close to the targets as we were previously, as you can see. Um, you know, we've still got a job to do. I think we might have lost a coefficient space because I could have sworn last time out seventh was a Europa League place. I might be wrong there, but I'm not sure because I don't recall the, the gap ever being that big. Um, but, you know, we're eight points off Europe now. So my target is best of the rest right now. That's where I'm trying to get us. Remember, the board want top half, okay? If we can get top half we'll have done what we said we would do when we came here then we've got a real a real challenge in summer i think the board want us to draw today they'll take a draw um if i'm honest with you knowing that arsenal are currently in third uh, and doing a reasonable job of giving chelsea and, and city a good run for the money i'd probably take a draw too that's how we're going to line up I have made both wingers inverted. It's worked quite well. Or it certainly worked quite well against West Ham. So that's what I'm going with today. I've asked OD to step in for Coyote and plays an inverted fullback. So hopefully he's going to come, come across here and do a little bit when we are on the ball. Um, and hopefully that's enough. Van Dweven's knackered. Albers is knackered. But the fixtures are thick and fast and there's really nothing I can do about that. One quick point of order. Um, we have we have sold Sabango. Uh, he is going to go out uh, at the end of the window, or at the start of the next window, I should say. Where is it? There it is. We've managed to sell him for the best part of sixteen million. Fine. Um, it's essentially what he was worth. He's never really going to break into my first team. He's on sixty bags a week. See you later, kiddo. No problem at all. No problem at all. You're a model citizen. Love the Urdu, but. It's, I'll take 16 million for you all day long. Right, let's get into this. Hopefully, you're not going to be the continued hex upon our, upon our game that you have been in the last episode. Um, but nonetheless, we'll see. We've gone as strong as I can go, if I'm honest with you. And, and that's my belief about our team right now. Um, 
you know, like I said in the last video, real crisis in terms of me not really knowing where to put my chips, you know. Uh, but there we go. Let's talk to Mark. Are you excited about the prospect of a derby? No. Yep, I am absolutely. The, for the all for the fans. Uh, is there more pressure on you to perform in a big e business as usual? Let's smile. Let's always smile. Is Pep Guardiola able to have... <laughs> is Pep Guardiola the best manager of all time able to handle the pressure? Um, not going to say that. Uh, I don't know. I care. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. You can make a real statement about your intentions. Champagne football is the aim. Let's not say that. Attack where possible. 100%. 100%. Okay. Right, here we go. Me and Pep once again. My hero on the other side of the dugout there. Well, certainly my managerial hero. Um, let's see how we do, eh? Let's see how we do. Saka still there. Martinelli, Odegaard. I think it's been announced that Odegaard's going to see how his career with Arsenal, which is lovely for them. Um, not great for us. Can we get out? We're very, very deep. Well, it no. Get out. Now they're in the box. Stood one up. Martinelli back post one nil. We are so deep. We are so deep there, and I have no idea why we don't get out when we clear our lines the first time. But we've just encouraged it. Kulisevsky could have won that ball there. Not strong enough. Stands one up, and Od has let Martinelli get across him. And that's because we don't have a proper fullback there. He's a centre half, by the way, him. And he's been beaten by little Martinelli at the back post. Oh. Nobody said it'd be easy, went the song, right? I didn't think it'd be this hard. Look how close everybody is to him there. Can we just get away a little bit? Rig has come all the way over from one side of the pitch to the other just to play a bounce. Come on. Let's work something here. Nige, beat your man. Well done. What can you do now, son? Get tackled. Brilliant. I have raved about you for nearly a year, Nige. Oh, it's just sticking to them, isn't it? It's just sticking to them. Yellow ball, by the way. Still playing with a yellow ball. Clocks haven't gone back, clearly. Played inside. He's all on his own. That's a great hand, that by Marmalade. He got down really well. It looked awkward, but actually getting down like that was superb. Away. Good. Okay. One shot, none on target. Burley any XG. We've had none of the ball. Oh, it's so, so poor. So poor. And we're on the telly. In fairness, you'd probably say, well, look, you don't expect to get the ball, do you, when you're playing against Pep's teams and, and actually... Yeah, that's probably about right, but I'm going to tell them about the rivalry as if you need to tell them about the rivalry. Um, let's go to the tactic. Let's try and play a little bit more positive. Let's have a very quick look at our shape. So, short kicks, yes. So, no idea why Marmalade sometimes does that. Um, do we want to counter press? No, probably not. Distribute to fullbacks, fine. Yes, okay. What we're doing here. Nice and wide. Yeah, okay. Time wasting. Short passes. Can we try and can we try and speed it up a little bit in terms of tempo? And then here maybe we get a slightly higher line. Slightly higher line. Don't encourage them to sit deep all the time. Let's go with that. No personnel changes in the first or certainly at half time. Let's see what we can try and muster. The lads like the team talk. That seemed to work. So hopefully it can get something early. He says as we now approach the hour mark with absolutely nothing on the cards. 65 is going to... There we go. We're going to ring the changes. We're going to ring the changes. We'll take away our anchor. He's anxious. He's not playing well. Akori is going to go up and he's going to play with Van Dweven and see if we can try and work something together. Uh, what can you do, son? What can you do? Let's go deep lying. And see if you can try and get anything for me there. Ferrari has been superb when he's come on. But he is going to play as in he's going to attack that channel. Nigel, you're composed. But you've not really given me anything, son, if I'm honest. You're very frustrated and knackered. No, I don't really want to play you at centre-half, do I? Do I? 
He's six one. You could probably do a job. You can play the ball as well. Maybe that's the one. Maybe we put Moreno in there for Albers. You have a rest, son. And then Vita's going to come on and again go down that wing for me and see if you can create something for these guys. We've gone positive. Let's confirm the changes. The fans will hopefully see that as well received if we've gone to try and do something. A Corey's going to chase his ball down and he's got it. Remember, he's only small, but he is nippy. Go on, past your man, son. Well done. Look at that pace. Go on, beat him again. Good lad. Box now. Box now. It's a bit deep. But he's got up and he's won it. It's a carbon copy of the Arsenal goal almost. Back stick. Our wingers just strides over their fullback. And where was Nige doing that? Where was Nige doing that? Remember, he's inverted as well. I'm almost asking him to do that. Over he goes. And Ramsdale should do better, shouldn't he? Ramsdale should do better, but I don't give a monkeys. I do not give a monkeys that he should have done better. We've done better. 20 minutes to go, but it's an Arsenal highlight. Can we win it back? Hashev loses out. Van der Ven, good. Recycle. Moreno can play, remember? Good. That's a poor ball out, though. That's a poor ball out. Just giving it away after all that good work to recover. Get up. We just ran by the ball there. Clipped. Sack has been found. He's going to be dangerous, but he's turned back. Boxed. Hashev on the volley. <sighs> I got excited, didn't I? I got excited. I started talking positive. I've got to remember to always be negative when I'm recording videos. If I'm negative, good things seem to happen. That step up there, it's just sat perfect for him. We're unlucky there. We're unlucky, and it's a lovely finish, a lovely bit of quality. There's a kickoff highlight, which never tends to bode well for me, but we are on the ball. Van der Ven's turned back, though. Moreno, Rig. That's a poor out ball. Remember, you're an absolute monster of a player I've spent a fortune on, and then you do that. Do you want to just show him his that? Why were we showing Saka inside then all the way through? Oh, my days. If I wasn't bald, get out. Get out. Look how deep we are. Get out. Get out. Good. Better. Better. Let's drag Van Dweeven. Let's do that. Montel looks knackered as well, in fairness to him. But we need that level of quality out there. He's won the ball back and given it away. Good take. Pause. Okay, right. Let's do that. Chaibi off of Van Dweeven. He's absolutely knackered. See if he can do a bit. That's my last sub. So the rest of you are going to have to see this out. Let's see what we can do, if anything. We're 2-1 down. Five minutes to go. We've got to throw in their half. OD. Back to Ferreira. Boxed. He's lost it. Set. Come on, set. Why did he wait so long? Why did he wait so long before setting there? And then how's he missed it anyway? I'm surprised that XG's not about 17 after that opportunity there. That is so, so poor. So poor. I don't even know what to say to the lads. The second half was better than the first. I think I'd probably have to have a minute in the tunnel before I went into the into the changing rooms. Oh. Ah, close thought you weren't good enough. I agree you weren't good enough. It wasn't meant to be. Okay, good. I've got to try and maintain the confidence. But that was devastating. Kyle's at the nail on the head. How much does it hurt? We deserved a win, did we? No. We can take some solace from it. We can take some solace from it, particularly the second half, Kyle. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he knows he should have done better. Um, I don't know who that is, by the way. We're not going to say that name. There's literally no chance on this earth that I would be saying that in an interview because I just quite simply couldn't. He should have done better. Uh, how do you think the match? I've learned a lot. There you go. Always the stock answer there. Poor, poor, poor. Oh, they've got games in hand now, so they're going to go and play. Coventry can catch us almost here, which, you know, that would be an absolute nightmare. 
It was grim. I don't think it was grim. You're probably overreacting. Um, but nonetheless, devastated. I'm sure you're delighted, Pep. Yeah, of course you are. I would be too if we'd managed to get something from you. I've got to take the positives of the second half, haven't I? I've got to do that. We've got Liverpool next, up at Anfield. Absolutely terrifying. Okay, right. When are you going to get to see my absolutely debilitated face again? Looks like we get some time off. When I say time off, I mean the lads are going to go away on international duty in March. So let's rule out March. Shall we come back? We'll come back for the Newcastle game. All right, we'll play a few. Try and get to here. We'll have a very, very good idea as to where we're going to finish the season. And then we'll come back again for the Coventry game to end the season. Um, as long as the board here haven't potted me after some of these absolutely shocking results that we've seen uh, in February. Hopefully you've enjoyed that uh, and enjoyed a little bit of my misery. Do feel free to like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. It genuinely does help. Sometimes it will occasionally even make me smile. So thanks for that. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>